Man, the sound has been off the entire time. What a beautiful, beautiful entry. I just looked on YouTube and uh, whatever, fuck it. Welcome everybody to the new breed. That that again, that's another sequence of events. That was pretty cool. So shout Man, out to the, the gentleman, well, uh, whoever posted on YouTube and said the sound. So if it wasn't for you, man, we would have been muted this whole time. I would have done a whole hour. Now, I got through an incredible introduction. I'll do it again, like clockwork. So here we go. Welcome, everybody. If you're watching this live on YouTube, we're now streaming live on YouTube. This is IMC TV, and I'm your host, Fernando Caro, for The New Breed. The New Breed is a Telegram group with members that have followed me on my evolution, on my journey, and who are part of my group. And in there, we share videos, resources, communication. Telegram is a communication line. So if you want to have access to it, it's a free group on Telegram app. You can message me or I'll post it somewhere in the comments. I'm hearing people can't hear anything. So how about now? Can you hear me? So you want to have access to it it's a free group on telegram app you could you can hear me now okay fuck comments we've probably gone five minutes of me in silence first i had it muted then my mic isn't uh, connected so it's all part of the logistics amor fati love your fate we'll start it there shout out to uh stoicism for that one Love your fate. Amor Fati. It means love me whatever the fuck life's going to bring you. And really, that's the baseline of today's teaching. Uh, so, again, for the introduction, I'll do it all over again. Welcome to IMC TV. I'm your host, Fernando Caro. Welcome, whether you've heard of me through you know social media, maybe you've been following my evolution over the years, or maybe you've come across uh, IMC Nation, AZD, the founder, who's really laid out the path for us to follow and be able to do what we do and talk about the things that we are passionate about, and giving us the platform, the stage, and really the courage to step into it. You know, public speaking is one of those things that a lot of people struggle with. Do you know that? Do you know one of the biggest fears on planet Earth is public speaking? That over, you know, spiders in your room, cockroaches in your room. Courage to step in, you know, public speaking. I can't, I don't know, I'm going to tell you. A lot of people struggle with it. You know it's that. better just message on the Zoom. And, uh, you know, people's biggest fear is comes down to communication. Speaking about what's inside of you, that expression that is dying each and every day to come out. And see, you have that too. I have that too. And, uh, and so for a long while in my life, I've just been seeking out how to express what's been impressed and depressed deep inside of me. You see, those words aren't created by mistake. There's a depression in your system because there's expression, energy. When we look at the word EX, it's, it's an exit. Exit, expression, so exaggeration. It's some sort of energetic, energetic if we look at it like from a, an energetic space, an exit, it's an, an exit of the instrument. It goes out, right? You look at the word exercise or even an exorcism, getting rid of this energy inside of us, right? So in today's modern world, we've become depressed. Exercise. When you look at the word de, anytime, depression. Deep, it means it points somewhere else. Expression points outward. Depression points inward. It's like it's suffocated. It's closed off. So people live in depressions. Their energy becomes stagnant. It becomes depressed. It becomes repressed. It becomes confined. Depression points inward. It's like it's suffocated. So people live in these states of depressions, wanting to tell the world who they are, but inside they've been just so morally defeated. And maybe you're watching this and you're one of the people who, again, just like myself, 
There's so many moments in my life where all I ever wanted was just to express myself and my most potent truth. But the fear, the fear of what people might think, the fear of their judgments, the, the fear of their criticisms was plentiful. And you know that, and I know that. And anybody who's ever became an online figure or someone who has influence in the world, hey, bro, realize it that when you're on the stage of the world and when you're communicating and expressing and you're living, right? And anybody who's ever... That also comes with the attention that other people might attack, other people might criticize, other might, people might condemn. But what's on the flip of all those fears and that negative, that negativity, that negative energy that you're trying to avoid? What's, what's on the opposite end? Well, for me, it was all the things that I could ever want. People might condemn. But what's on the flip? That if I just started to express myself to the world, hey, I might just find the things that I'm looking for. Realizing that what I'm looking for is also looking for me. And all I need to do is just tell the world what's going on inside of me. And as I express myself outwardly and I start to share the gifts that, been, that have been bestowed upon me, given to me. And I don't know who else to give credit to. Maybe my birth mother and my birth father. These two biological beings who've come together from their experiences of life. My father coming from Mexico. My mother in Los Angeles. To them even crossing paths. Like, what the fuck? How does uh, people from two different countries at some point in their life collide? And that that conjunction of energy of these two beings creates life form. And I'm part of that and you're part of that, right? There was two beings who've come together in life from all their experiences, come together and here you are. And that, and here's the next person and the next person and the next person. Hey, matter of fact, even your parents, imagine their storyline. Do you know that about them? Right, there was two beings who've come together in life from all their experiences. Now, Come together. I didn't have all my grandparents. I have two grandmas still alive. My father's my father's mother, my mom's mother. They're both alive. But imagine how much history they have. And how much more information they have in regards to my lineage. Now, now, if you have these resources, I mean, I don't even my grandma's in Mexico somewhere, and my, my mom's mom is in Los Angeles. Now, could I have access to these beings? Absolutely. I could always get on a flight or go go visit them, right? They're at the later stages of their life. And just knowing the history of where my family comes from, the stories that they've had to see, how their parents were, and go further back a couple of generations, and we're in a completely different world. But see, you and I are descendants of them. There's so much that you and I are being just simply for being the embodiment, the creation, the expression of these two beings, your mom and dad. And their influences of the world the way they live life, just like you're living life, right? Maybe right now you're sitting and you're like, man, there's not enough money. Or, man, I'm beaming because I'm feeling so damn good. Or, damn, I'm depressed because I don't know what I want for my life. Or, damn, I have everything I could ever want, right? These polarities of feelings, right? They too had that shit. Matter of fact, your mom and your dad, my mom and my dad must have had it a billion times more difficult in their life to get to where they got to. Now, my parents were immigrants. Well, my dad was. My mom was born here. But her grandparents were immigrants. Your mom and your dad. Imagine all the difficulty. Like, my dad coming from another country at 17 years old, being the first one in his family to have the courage to jump a border with the risk involved, the fear involved, of, hey, what if I get caught? What if I get sentenced to prison? What if a bunch of what ifs? Now, here's a technique. 
What if that thing that you want was a reality? Instead of telling yourself, what if this, what if that in a negative sense, what if, what if we flip that into a, a, a positive sense of the outcome that we want? What if I do cross this border and my life changes because I heard that in America, the greatest planet or the greatest country in the planet provides freedom and resources and access that my country, my land, my birthplace doesn't provide me because of the corruption, because of the suppression of humanity. Now, one second. Provides freedom and resources and access that my country, my life, okay, I'm getting in. Uh, doesn't provide me because of the corruption. So I got to mute. Of humanity. Now, if I mute now, here on YouTube, is there still an echo? How's the sound now? Wow, it's good now. Okay, now I don't know if this this is gonna mute the YouTube uh, video, but hey, we learn as we go. Technology, huh? Were you guys able to catch that first segment? Because I'm gonna go right into it. Thank you. You know what's important? Uh, I'm gonna say this here for whoever is managing the. Uh, I guess this would go for Anbu uh, to one monitor or someone monitor these live streams, especially on YouTube, because, you know, for the first five, six minutes, I was muted. And then uh, there's an echo for half of, you know, a bigger portion of the lecture. So just to make sure that things, things run smoothly, but we got it going. So even that, like, look at, look at the problem right now that I'm facing. It's not even a problem, but these obstacles of facing of technology and the mics not set up and the mute and the YouTubes and the computer, like what the fuck? If I tell my dad, like, Hey dad, I was live streaming and the mic was fucked up. Like it's not even a concept in his mind of the technology that you and I are using right now to one, improve our fucking life. I'm getting better. You're getting better. We're all getting better. Right. By the, uh, the, availability of technology for us to stream and communicate and share ideas, right? The world is changing in this fucking moment. And I know it. I can see it. Jai Guru Dev. I can see. Now, what were the problems that that being was facing in his life? And the beings that you come from, your mom and dad, what, what were their challenges in life? At your age, I'm 26 years old, right? At 26 years old, my dad, let's see, my dad had like two, three kids already. What the fuck? I couldn't even imagine having two, three kids right now. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Now, if like that, that's not even a, a concept in my head, but in their timeline, in their reality of life and what people are doing, that's what they had to face. Now, if we just take a look at this, I don't know what your relationship with your, your parents are, but maybe if you're just following along with me, there's going to be a feeling inside of you. You see, if today you're having a bad day, I have a question for you. What's your relationship with your parents? If right now in your life, like if through your life you feel bad more than you feel good, I got to ask you, what's your relationship with your parents? Now, let's say your, your mom and dad aren't here, right? They've passed along, right? And you never got to express yourself to these beings. They never really got to know you because of the trials of life and the, the problems of life. But could you imagine right now that if you could just tell them, you could just openly and honestly tell these two beings, even if they're not here, in your mind, just imagine... Mom, or just imagine dad, what would you want to tell these beings? Well, in this limited time of life that we have, what would you want to share with these beings? Because I know from as early as I can remember, these two beings were the only two people that I ever wanted to impress. These two beings were the only two beings that I ever wanted to 
feel validated or acknowledged. These two beings, I wanted these two beings to know that their son is okay, right? And maybe you don't have them here physically on planet Earth to tell them. However, in the world of imagination, what if, what if you can communicate to them through an idea of them, the earliest memory that you have of them, or the latest memory you have of them? Like right now, my mom and my father are not here. They're in Los Angeles. I'm in San Jose, California. That's about a five-hour drive, one-hour flight. Not too far, but about 365 miles of distance. Now, they're not here physically. But if I wanted to communicate to them, what would I practice in order to communicate to these two beings, right? So you can practice this along with yourself. Let's say your mother and father are not, no longer alive, but you could try this practice of connecting to them through thought because I'm still doing the same process. Now, whether my thought connects to them or it doesn't that's not the point now here's some science that you could trace back and see nikola tesla who was a pioneer in the same planet you and i live his theory says that this world is nothing more than it's an energetic wave there's nothing more than it's an infinite now I'm crossing language right now, but let me break this shit down for you because when you can see this shit, you trip out. Like, for example, I have this computer right here. It's a laptop. And somehow this laptop right now is connected to some frequency called Wi-Fi. There's not a cable. Like, there's not a cable right now from my room to the, mo uh, the, the whatever the fuck that shit is, the box, the Wi-Fi box, modem to the living room. There's this connection that seems to happen that allows the connection here from this computer to streamline to wherever the fuck you're at right now watching this. You could be in India. You could be in any part of the universe. Now, how are we able to do that? Where is this connection that I don't see? There must be right now, just like I'm here, you're there in this space that we're in, this physical space. There must be a ton of electric electrical currents frequencies that this computer is plugging into to connect to the wi-fi for uh your zoom line to be on zoom and you can see me you can hear me we could talk i'm here you're there but i'm not though i'm on your computer in some stream some electrical current but i'm not there physically with you but it feels like i am now, what the fuck is that? How, where are these currents, these frequencies? The world is nothing more than energy, frequencies and vibrations. My sound is a frequency. My sound is a vibration. My sound is a ripple effect into this empty space called the ether. And in this empty space, you're relating to your world through these frequencies. So we got to ask ourselves these questions. What's the current current? Current is electricity. What's the current frequency in my system right now? How am I feeling? What is the feeling inside of me? What's the vibration that my system, my body is humming out? How can we tell? Well, if we see someone laughing, ha, 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 they have the frequency of laughter inside of them. If we see someone who's beaming out to the world and you know they're winning, there's the frequency of the person who's winning. There's also a frequency of sad. <laughs> right? There's a frequency of calm. There's a frequency of elation. There's a frequency of depression. And we're relating to the world by the frequency that we carry inside. So before you start your day, before you go to your job, before you do the next activity, right now, whatever it is you're doing, what are 
What's the frequency that you're living with in this current moment and present time? Because that's your connection to the world right now. Just like my computer is connected to my Wi-Fi, it's not connected to my neighbors. I live in a condominium. There's Wi-Fi electrical currents all over. But see, my phone says connect to IMC base one, which is that one, that connection. So right now, as you, what are you connected to that's giving you the feeling inside? Where is your source of power coming from? That's giving you the frequency inside to relate to the world out here. As I'm speaking to you, there's a frequency inside of me that I'm tapped into that's going inside of you. Now, if I just began to tell you what the last four or five days of my life look like, <laughs> it's mind boggling. It is, I don't know what's happening, but I know for certain I've, I'm living in a new universe. In my world right now, my, my universe is shifting. I'm dimension jumping. The numbers of my universe, there was a way of living. They're no longer the same. I'm in a new world again. And this seems to keep happening very fast. Now you're probably like, what the fuck is this guy saying? He's tripping. Oh, believe me, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm as sober as can be. I'm more aware than you are in these subjects. And so I'm reporting into you guys. You too are also going through your timeline of your life. Now, check your insides, check the frequency inside of you because that's going to be your experience. All I'm doing all day, every day, it looks like I'm doing a bunch of things, but all I'm doing in my day is checking what's my current emotional state. Current emotional state. That's how you access that. Those words bring you back inside. What is my current emotional state? That is such a huge question to ask oneself. Because the minute you become aware of where you're currently at, now you have control. Till then, you're stuck in it. If you're in sadness, you're stuck in sadness. If you're angry, you can't see your anger. Look, when you're angry, you don't have the same face versus when you're happy and elated and soft and kind and caring. And when you're angry, there's a frequency inside your system that causes explosion, that causes uh, destruction, that causes pain, that causes ripple effects into the universe that... Once the dust settles and you're no longer feeling that anger inside of you, you look at your world and the beautiful structures, the high rises and the ocean views and the mountains and the flowers and the peaceful Zen garden and trees. With anger, you ooh, send out a nuclear uh, explosion into your universe. How many times through anger have you broken a friendship, have broken trust, have broken something that you value so much because this anger was too much to contain? Now, by checking our current emotional state regularly throughout our day, some days you'll forget, moments you'll forget, maybe after this lecture. But what if you just remembered? That one thing. What's my current emotional state? Hey, I'm fucked up right now. Wait, hold on. Park. I'm not going to do anything else until I handle what's inside of me. Why am I fucked up right now? Oh, because this and this and there's a voice in your head. If you just listen, there's a voice in your head that's been fucking with you all day. And it's telling you a bunch of shit. And your current emotional uh, feeling, your current emotional state is being affected by this voice in your head. It's like a little parasite. A little parasite that's in your mind speaking, sharing 
these words and these thoughts and it's making you feel very bad actually. Check what's inside. Who's speaking? Whose voice is that? Is that your voice? Would you talk to yourself in a way that punishes you? Why, why are you talking to yourself in a destructive manner? Why are you giving yourself advice that's not going to result in what you want in life? Why are you doing things that are going against your fucking values, huh? That's my question. What is in your head that's making you do things that you wouldn't fucking do? There's something inside of you that's hijacking your rational thought. Let me give a better word than rational. What the fuck does that even mean? Rat, rat, rat. That's stripping away from your consciousness. Consciousness is your, look, your mind, dude. You're losing your mind in, in, in these voices in your head that seem to talk to you, talk for you, tell you what to do. Tell you when it's time to eat. You're not even hungry and you're like, I should probably go get some snacks because that sounds pretty good. Bro, you weren't even thinking about food or you were thinking about food, but your system is telling you you're not hungry. Or you're hurting inside and you're, the voice in your head is making it even worse. So by checking your current emotional state, and being aware of it, like, how am I feeling right now? Am I happy with myself? If I look in the mirror, do I feel happy with what I see? First and foremost, starting with our bodies, dude. You got to love what you see. If you don't love what you see, then that's the practice is every fucking day you work on that shit until you love what you see. You sculpt it every damn day for the abilities that you want. Hey, if you want to be a big sumo wrestler, because that's what you want, that's what calls you, that's what sets your soul on fire then damn it, that's what you do. If you want to move your body like a yogi and have your legs over your head and do postures and stretch and activate your body in ways you can only imagine, then that's what you do. So you find your natural movement in this body that you have. Some are taller, some are smaller, some are compact, some are leaner, some are lengthier, some are compressed, some are rounder, some are harder. But you decide how you want to mold this vessel because it could change. Your body can change. One year from now, you could have a completely different body. But that ultimately comes, again, from the voices in your head. Because the voices in your head are going to tell you how to eat, how to exercise, how to study how to feed yourself, how to move, how to do things. Now, you got to be very aware of the voice in the head because you could damage, you could damage the future of your own timeline, of your own life just by one wrong decision. One wrong decision will lead to a world of destruction. One right decision could lead into a world of affluence and abundance and the finest, the finest things you could imagine. Now, I'm going to be wrapping this video up. However, what I want you to take from this is just today, practice what is my current emotional tone? What's my relation to life? How do I feel about life every day? When I wake up, what do I feel? Do I feel like I'm lacking? Do I feel like it's not enough? Like Why, why does it feel like I'm missing? Am I creating that up? Am I missing anything? Am I really missing though? What am I missing? Because when I look what I have, I have much more than the next person. Or I have much more than someone who else is also on this planet at the same time as you are. And they have absolutely nothing. They don't even have a home. They don't have friends. They don't have family. They don't have people that care about them. But if you have just one person, and that one person could be you. Hey, there's somebody. That one person. Now, if there's someone outside of you who cares about you, who's a friend of yours, who thinks about you, then damn, you have more than you could ever imagine. But you fall for the idea that you need this and all that and this. And you don't need none of that. 
you have trust, if you have respect, if you have care, admiration, friendship, honor, loyalty, family, if you have these qualities in your life, that is more than you could ever have in this planet. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Now, in order for me to have that, in order for you to have that, you must be the one who walks with that frequency inside. That when the next person talks to you, you speak from a place of family. You speak from a place of admiration. You carry yourself with honorable characteristics and traits. You carry yourself with courageous feeling. You carry yourself with a lo a love and trust and courage and respect. You carry yourself with that. If you want respect, you got to be the most respectful being to you. Now, by you being a respectful being, a kind, considerate, when you're that, then the world shall gift you that. And the minute you are not that, then don't expect it from anyone else. You got to be the, 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 bear, the bearer of your own life, the bearer of the feelings that you want. Why? Because again, as we started, everything we want starts from within. If you want friendship from the world, you got to be a friend of you first. And the question is, have you been mistreating yourself? Have you been mistreating yourself? Take a look. If you're not feeling good about your life, if there's things that you don't like, if there's a, a, a lack of or you feel as if you're missing something, have you been truly good to yourself? Now, if you have, then you'll notice that what you have is enough. You're fulfilled. You're happy. You're complete. You're at ease. You like yourself. You're good. All right, so we end this here. Every Monday, you could find me going live here on The New Breed. This is a channel for IMC TV. You can go catch their live recording on the IMC TV YouTube channel. We're bringing you a new brand of television, telling a vision. Now, if you like this, like and subscribe the channel. We have a wide variety and selection of some of the top ranking members of IMC Nation, which is a worldwide movement, bringing you real entertainment, real education, real information. So this is where you want to catch it. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on The New Breed next Monday, live at 3 p.m. Pacific.